good morning, everyone. Welcome to this liturgy as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My friends, as we gather again this morning for our celebration of this liturgy, we remember and celebrate the Feast of St. Anthony. St. Anthony was a Franciscan priest who lived in the 13th century. So we celebrate his feast day this morning as we first pause for a moment to call to mind the Lord's continuing goodness, graciousness, and forgiveness of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us all. Forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm is Psalm 16. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you, you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by the earth, for it is his footstool, not by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. 
Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus was a teacher. I think we see this very clearly in today's gospel. We also see it throughout all of the gospels. Jesus was a teacher. Some of the words in today's gospel, you have heard that it was said, but I say to you, I say to you. In other words, I tell you, I teach you. And Jesus' teaching is always characterized by more, beyond the minimum. He always kind of pushes us a little bit more to do more than what is usual. In today's gospel, for example, Jesus talks about the words that we say. He says, avoid swearing and avoid taking oath. In other words, careless use of words. And beyond that, mean what you say. When you say something, when you say yes, mean yes. When you say no, mean no. I think what Jesus is telling us is that our words are powerful. They can help people. They can ennoble people. They can make them better. Or they can pull people down. They can limit people. The point is, I think Jesus is asking us to think about the words that we say, to mean what we say, and realize that there's a power to the words that we use. When we say yes, to mean yes. When we say no, to mean no. We want to be honest in our words. We want to be honest in what we say. Not fudging, not duplicity. In other words, our words are important because they show who we are. We take a moment now to call to mind our own prayers and our own petitions. We pray this day for peace in our world. Let us pray for peace in our communities. And for peace in all of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. We pray that the Lord might help us during these days, especially with the pandemic that we're all experiencing. We pray that the Lord might give us a health and help those who are trying to find, uh, trying to find antidotes to this virus. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our communities our St. Francis and St. Joseph communities, that the Lord continue to strengthen us and bless us in every way. Let us pray to the Lord. We want to remember and pray for, in a special way, the intentions for this Mass. Young Gi Lee, Sister Mary Eileen O'Connor, August Anthony Hoffner. For these intentions and the intentions of the Roback family, let us pray to the Lord. And we pause now in the quiet of our own hearts as we remember and call to mind our own special prayers and intentions. Good and gracious God, we raise up to you these and all of our many petitions and prayers. We ask that you hear them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
with humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. It's in glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Saint Anthony, so that as brought so that as you brought him glory you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Anthony, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, is without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <coughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. <coughs> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <coughs>
We pray now together using the words that Jesus himself has given to us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high and all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Anthony, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may almighty God bless us all, our Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended now. Let us all go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Your love.